So Christmas has rolled around again and it's been gift voucher time um, and today I popped into Games Workshop and I picked up this box set for my high elves, the Dragon Princes and also the Nobles Battle Standard Bearer and the Prince So what I've done is I've first taken apart the, uh, the Noble and as you can see here got the prince on for the steed and here will be the battle standard bearer what I've also done with these is I have magnetized them so it's interchangeable so here is the standard I'll just prime that white I'm going to start on that tonight there should be a video update for that when it's done and you can see on the arms there uh, and oh, and uh, it's magnetized so it should just snap on when it's done now I've put these all together I and mean, obviously these are a work in progress at the moment but uh, there we go and the prince has a great sword And all in all, a pretty good kit for its age. Not too bad. I mean, the same kind of quality and um, moulding touch that was going into the, the plastic dragon. So they're very similar. Also, the art style is very similar. Um, not too bad at all. Bit clunky. Not very delicate. As you can see, this blade's not that great. Um, but it looks, you know, once it's together, it looks pretty good. But what takes it to a whole new level is the dragon princes. Now these guys, the detail on them is amazing. Um, you know, it, 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 it's to the point now where you don't need to buy metal miniatures for, for characters. These plastics are just fantastic. If I can show you some of the swords here. Now these are just add-ons, extras. But, there we go, and it focuses. You can see the detail on those. That's so crisp. It's amazing. The faces as well. They are very good. Lots of uh, extra components in this kit. And look at that sword there. I mean, how you would even get that off the sprue without, you know, chipping the top of the blade here. I, I have no idea. Really good kit. I'm looking forward to putting these guys up uh, together. So that's one. Here's the, the shields. Uh, six shields in the box. Um, the champion's body there. And another body there that goes with the sword arm. Um, they, you can either make them with five lances or you can make them with full command, you know, as, as most boxes are. Um, but yeah, the, even the steed's heads are um, incredibly well detailed. There are the, the rest of the heads there. So once they're all done, I'll get another preview uh, video of those up. Very nice. Um, so that's the high That's what I bought for Christmas. Uh, I've got some more gift vouchers coming, so I'm not sure what I'm going to spend those on. Probably some Phoenix Guard or Swordmasters. Uh, here I've got some old reclaimed spearmen, these have been in Detol and they've uh, basically from many years ago when the kit was released I bought a box uh, and I horribly brutalised them with paint so now I'm sort of going back and repairing those guys. Uh, another thing I've been working on, because I can't seem to settle on, on one thing at a time, is a group of Terminators. So I shall get these guys in here, move the camera down a bit. Now. A sergeant, uh, one of the terminators there, and the guy with the assault camera. He's the camera down a little bit more there. There you go. So these guys, these are also very old miniatures that have been in Detol. So it just shows you how well they can clean up once they've once they've been in the Detol. Um, the the the, the the helmets they're white but um, they're not a skull white or a, a flat white they're actually um, Vallejo model colour silver grey built over Astronomicon grey which is the Games Workshop Foundation base colour uh, and then um, Moro white from P3 Paints as the highlight and because you're not going for a, a flat white you actually get some depth in them you actually get some, some shading let's see if it comes out in the video now unfortunately it kind of bleaches all the colour out. That's these that's this guy here. 
There's some script work on his power fist there. And these guys uh, have sort of Greek influences of the whole uh, altering Roman Greek thing. Um, it's the squad sergeant. And he's got some script work up here. And I just pick up some of those uh, Sakura Micron pens. They're brilliant, absolutely fantastic. You can see the detail on the face of this one here. If I can get it to focus a bit more onto the face. No, that doesn't seem to want to play ball. There we go, you can see the teardrop I've drawn with his eye. It takes what would normally be just a normal plain Terminator and makes him a little bit more you know, individual, a bit more unique. So that's what's on the painting table there. And you can't have Terminators without a big bad boy like this. Let's bring the camera up a bit. So this is a Land Raider I've been working on. I like my Land Raiders not to be bright blue. This is a uh, light sea grey from Tamiya. Um, a lot of my vehicles are in this colour. I think if you've seen some of the previous videos, you'll see that. Um, I'm kind of in my mind thinking of a, they're flying on some kind of ash waste or a moon or something similar. Whereas for it, this would be an appropriate camo colour for them. But to be honest, with you, it's just because I hate gigantic blue vehicles. Um, so he's a, this is a work in progress from a long time. I think I might have bought this for Christmas last year, but let's not say any more on the matter. So yeah, I shall bring you an update when I've done the first part of the banner.